what should audiences be excited about about the virtual rendition of this piece? Well, I, you know, I, I can't even think of it that way. I mean, I think this is the story. I mean, you know, for the last year, I've been uh, workshopping this show virtually, and and I'm a solo performer anyway, so it's not too different than than what I do. I think what uh, what they should be excited about is just the piece itself, the fact that you're gonna watch it, um, you know, at your house. I guess you don't have to wear pants, and you know, you can just like snack, and I suppose you can look at your cell phone, and you can do. <laughs> all these things you're not supposed to do in the theater so it might be kind of comfortable you know reclining seats oh my gosh sometimes theater seats aren't that comfortable although at Dixon Place they are so what I think uh, audiences should be excited about that's that was the question I got uh, uh, but what okay what's really cool is that the show is it's I think it's original and it's fresh, although, you know, there's really three stories of inhumanity, but I, I, it evolved. I didn't know what it was going to be. And it seems that working through it, uh, in this, this genre that we have now, this online thing has actually made me discover more about the story than I would have if I had just been playing at a black box theater, if I'd just been uh, doing my world premiere at Dixon Place, which this kind of is, but it's a World Wide Web <laughs> premiere. Um, it's a story about uh, being brown and queer and growing up in Washington Heights. It's a story about uh, being a, a female uh, in a dangerous world for females and in and in dangerous situations, but also in being resilient. And overall, it's a comedy with a few uh, roller coaster twists and turns. Um, and it's emotional. Um, it's very personal. It's very vulnerable. But um, I actually uh, performed Spanking Machine last year at Hot Fest up at the Dixon Lounge, and it was a reading, and I didn't even know what I had until the audience, the audience just was wild through the whole thing, even through the parts that could make you so sad and, and anxious. They were just wild. I mean, there was a lot of liquor flowing, to be honest. This question, Dixon Place, you're, really, you're asking me, what? Uh, what have I been eating during the pandemic? This is what you want to know? All right. Okay. What have I been eating during the pandemic? <laughs> well, what have I been eating during the pandemic? Nobody. Oh, come on. You set me up for that with that question. But I will tell you what I have been eating. I have been eating so much. I haven't been eating any of the cans of food that I bought when shelter in place was called like all of us. Uh, no, I just went and I'm eating toilet paper. No, that's not true. I've been eating uh, a lot of cheese a lot of cheese. You know, the question really that you want to know is, what have you been drinking, Marga? <laughs> quite a bit, quite a bit. It's it's definitely uh, something I got to stop. I got to stop all of this. You know, I was a whole 30 fit person. I want to tell you, uh, first of all, I'm wearing a hat and I'm not sure what's going to be going on with my hair. Um, in this uh version of Spanking Machine you're going to see. Uh, I will be adding a few video clips from the last time I performed it in San Francisco before an audience. Uh, and uh, I had a great haircut. But in San Francisco, um, the hair salons are not allowed to be open yet. 
But true story, you can get Botox. I don't know how that works. So what I what I want you to, and I don't know, maybe this is something that'll make people excited. <laughs> but when you when you watch uh, Spanking Machine, and I, and I do hope you'll buy a ticket. Also, half proceeds go to uh, organizations to empower Black lives. But when you watch Spanking Machine, keep in mind that uh, the the camera adds 10 pounds and the pandemic adds 15 more. So there'll be more to love. But sometimes I, I rub it and I make a wish and I wish that all the theaters in America will eventually change the leadership to people of color. I wish maybe, I I do think it does have magic powers.